Hello everyone. Welcome back. Back by popular demand. I'm Thor. Thor Odinson. I come from Asgard. I know lots of sciencey things. I want to teach your babies to be smart. Smart like people on Asgard. Anyway, back by popular demand. Watch our video on rocket science. I think I did really good teaching rocket science. It's great. Today, we're going to teach quantum information for babies. It's by that same author, Chris Ferry. Ferry. However, that person says his name. I don't know. On with quantum information. Hmm. This is a ball. Yep. It's a ball. This ball can be red or can be blue. Look. This one's red and blue. That's crazy. Hmm. Wonder where you're going with this. I'll teach you. We need one bit of information to record the color of this ball. Yes. We need two bits of information to record the color of two balls. One, two. Two bits of information recorded by two balls. Two bits of information. Two balls. That's how it works. Computers can store many bits of information. Many. Millions, billions, trillions, zillions, billions. This phone behind me can store one million bits of information. Wow, that's a lot. There's not a million dots on there, just so you know. There's more like 30 or something like that. I should stop this video and count how many dots there are. I totally don't know if that's right. It probably is more. This is an electron. An electron is a quantum ball. You see the little E there? It means electron. The minus sign means it's a negative charge. <laughs> I'm so smart on Thor. An electron stores a quantum bit of information. A quantum bit is called a qubit. Qubit! That's kind of fun to say. Now you say it. Qubit! This is where it starts to get good. If two bits are needed to describe one qubit, then four bits are needed to describe two qubits. And, subsequently, 16 bits are needed to describe four qubits. This phone can store one million bits. That's a lot. But, it can only store 20 qubits of information. We can use quantum systems to store quantum information. Of course, quantum. To store the information in this molecule would take all the phones on the whole entire Earth. Wow, that's a lot of phones a lot of information. What took all the phones in the world can be done with a single molecule. Incredible. It is a formidable molecule. It has so much information on it. It's amazing how God created things like molecules. God is amazing. God is amazing. One day, Quantum computers might replace all of these. Now you know quantum information. Quantum information is so cool. <sighs> now please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell. Shh. Shh. Don't miss any new videos. Shh. I'm going to sleep.